What's going down YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about how to install sirens into Ella's PDFR. And um, honestly, this one probably will be kind of easy and quicker than the other ones. I got this Master Com B um, Rumbler Siren. Oh, I think the Rumblers are an option. Uh, I think I don't know if I'm gonna which ones I'm gonna use yet. Um, Rumblers kind of have like the low bass um, in the sound, kind of like a uh, NYPD sirens if you know what they sound like. I will leave a link to this um, siren pack in the description below. Um, if you want to go find different sirens, that's cool. Which whichever ones you like. Um, I just found these. These were the fastest ones to find, and I kind of like the sound. So um, I don't think I'm gonna go with the rumblers actually. Well, mm, I I suppose I will. But um, go back here once we download it quite simple just click the download button etc now you have a few different things here you got um, your folder directory now all of these will be di somewhat different um, always read the install instructions for the sirens as well but bring up your GTA 5 directory and then you want to find um, that particular um, file directory let's drag this over here so we can see it we want to go to uh, GTA 5 we're in there and then we want it to go to um, of course the mods folder go to the mods folder make sure you have the x64 uh, folder if you don't copy the x64 folder from here and paste it in your mods folder open up mods x64 audio and then sfx now some of these i would be particularly careful about installing because you might run into the problem where um there's other sounds that they have put in their game that they put here and you have them in your game now not just the sirens but most time it's just the sirens and if you don't have any other sound mods in your game for resident um, RPF then you can just drag and drop from the zip into there and then replace and you should be good now in this sense um, let's just say uh, let's click on the siren and see if it's the same way alrighty so um, I'm not particularly sure this, I'm gonna just go to download this and see how this works um, because I do know that when you put certain ones in here you actually have to put them in the RPF yourself and that's a little bit more tricky and uh, hopefully this one's like that and we can do it together but if not um, they are installations that can help you raw sirens okay so here we go for instance here's a bunch of sirens um, they're WAV files, then you have the OAC file, but I think it does come with, actually no, here's the install instructions. Alright, perfect. So the first thing we want to do is, um, the first thing we want to do right here is just kind of read this, open, open IV. So you're going to need open IV. Let's go ahead and get that open, Windows, for Windows GT5. We're going to be in the mods folder. Mm, starting up okay make sure edit mode is on go to mods 64 and then well audio then SFX he's got it wrong here but then we want to go into resident RPF um, where is that at I can't even read and then you should see a few different things in here you should see vehicle dot AWC um, which is right here you want to export this as o, uh, as an OAC file to your desktop. Export it to your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close some of the stuff out here so we can see better. Um, that's not the siren. This is. Once it's on your desktop, you should see a few different things. Um, you have the vehicles folder and then you have the vehicles.oac file. Now, uh, let's get these instructions back up. Choose the four tones you want. Okay, so we're going to go back into um, the first whatever right here to the um, raw sirens and then we can choose whichever four we want here um, and then you can rename rename the horn to air horn and just rename them to these um, names here all right once you do that drag and drop it into that folder now when you get back into GTA 5 what you want to do is you want to go to new import open formats and then double tap on that OAC file alright once this is up then just press OK and then it put the OAC file 
and, and pretty much convert it back into the AWC. And from there, you're done. So that's how to do it the hard way and the easy way, depending on the type of file. So I hope that helped. And until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you.